Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, I think my video today will be a fun one because it's not your traditional earring, but this is focusing on my ugly Christmas sweater earring. I have been thinking about doing these earrings for a while and I had a different concept and I may still play that concept out, uh, but when I found these little ugly sweater charms, I couldn't resist. So in the video today, I'm just going to show you how easy it is to put these together. Okay, so let's take a look at the materials we'll be using. Um, first, I have these great charms from Hobby Lobby. These were $2.99, but they were 50% off. I've seen them 50% off since they've been set in the store. I think they're really cute. And then I'm using three of my sheets from my holiday set that I bought on Amazon. I'll link that to my blog post. Um, and here's some other faux leathers that are in that set as well. Um, and for those of you new to my channel, what I typically do is link up to my blog post below and then on my blog I have all the links to everything just to make it really simple. Um, to get to that, you just need to click on that arrow next to the um, title of the video and that's how you'll be able to find that. Let's take a look at the file that we're gonna use. This is a bundle that I bought. You've seen me, if you've been watching my channel, you've seen me make quite a few different earrings from this bundle. And today we're going to play with circles. And so I'm gonna do this set of three circles. I've measured this circle right here is tall enough that that sweater should feel really nicely hanging right within that circle. So that's what we're gonna give a try. So I'm gonna click over to my design space. I already have these images all uploaded. If you, I'll, first of all, I'll link to these cut files on my blog page. If you don't know how to upload the images, I have a video on my channel for that to help those of you who haven't done that before. But once you have the, the file uploaded, you'll find it here once you click on your images and then you just click on insert images. And I love these files because these come out to a really good size. The biggest circle is two and a half inches. Most of you know that's kind of the sweet spot for me. I don't really like them much bigger than that. Um, these are all three grouped and I do want to change the colors. So I am going to come over here and ungroup them just so that I can keep myself straight. So I'm going to do my top layer as a red. Now, if you didn't have this glitter set, you could always just do a plain red leather. Um, and the reason I'm doing red is if you look at these sweaters, they're primarily green, so it will look really cute sitting on that red glitter. Then my middle layer is gonna be my crazy layer. And I don't know what color to even put. I think this layer of, um, I'm gonna just put it as orange. This layer of faux leather to me looks like a, a, a sweater, an ugly sweater, just all the crazy stripes. So I think that's perfect in there. And then on my last layer, I'm gonna do that as green. So I just need to change that to green. Okay, so we know my front, um, there's nothing special about it. I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate it because of course I have two earrings, so I'm gonna need two of those. And then my middle layers the same way, two earrings, I need two of those. And then for my green layer, I do think I'm gonna do a back to back. Those of you who have watched my videos know that I don't really like to look at the back of these materials. A lot of times it's just kind of like a white, white felt type thing. The back of this green is just like a white canvas. It's not very pretty. So we're just going to duplicate not only one for the other earring, but we're gonna do two more. And then I can just glue those back to back so that if for some reason you were to see them, you would um, see green on both sides. So that's all I need to do, and uh, there's nothing, you know, normally I'm looking to see, do I need to flip anything around where there's no design on anything? Um, so I think I'm just ready to go ahead and do the make it. And I've got it on the mats now. I can see my red mats, the two, my yellow mats, two, and my green mat, I've got four. So let's just go ahead and get started on my red mat. I do need to set my material, so I'm going to 
continue. Now this is a tough one for me because this is a really thin material and usually these faux leathers, like the one I'm using in the middle, I know exactly what setting I'm gonna put that on because I'm gonna put that on that shimmer leather. But this, this red is pretty thin, so I'm gonna have to experiment. Another beautiful thing about watching a G is I'll waste the fabric if it's not right. And I'm just gonna go ahead and go down to these um, different options that I have under leather. I can scroll down, it's easy to find because it's got the brown bar right to indicate the leather. Uh, this is usually a little thicker. It does have glitter, so I'm trying to keep that in mind. That might make it worth it to do this as a little thicker. I think I'm just gonna stick with it. We'll learn, we'll learn as we go. Okay, I almost always put my fabric face down with this glitter. I just decided I'm gonna put it face up. We'll see if I have any problems with that. If I put it face down, I probably would wanna put like some kind of contact paper against it so that um, it's not getting all that glitter all over my mat. But we're just gonna try it this way. It's only two circles, so I feel, also feel like it's not that big of a risk. Um, and it's not a hard cut. So I feel like the likelihood of having a problem is pretty small, although it is glitter and sometimes it's hard to cut through. So I do, while this is cutting, wanna thank you for visiting my channel today. If it's your first time, welcome. If you're back, thanks for coming back. Um, I'm really enjoying capturing all of my earring projects and my other DIY projects and my seasonal and holiday decor projects all on my channel. It's been so much fun and I just appreciate everybody who's been supporting me. If you find anything value, I'd love it if you would just tap the like button. If you think that you'd like this kind of video, I'd really love it if you'd subscribe and if you tap the bell button, you'll get notifications anytime I post something new. So it looks like my my circles cut just fine. I don't think I had any problems um, with them. So here's the two circles. It did have a hole in it already. Looking for my weeder, here it is. Um, and so a lot of times you just have to take your weeder and just kind of push that through. And it seems like a lot of times it will be hanging on by a thread. And so if you're dealing with that, I like to push it to the back. Don't do it from the front, but push it to the back. And then on the back side, you can snip it. That way you're not, I find that when I do it that way, I tend to not cut part of the hole to make the hole like an awkward size. All right, and so now you can see my hole is still good on the front. So I just need to get both of these circles weeded out for my holes, and then I'm ready to do my next layer. Okay, so the next one I'm going to do is my middle layer, and I'm going to put that on my mat. And I'd worry this isn't a very sticky mat, but again, these are just circles, and so I'm not gonna worry too much about that, and I can kinda keep my hands on here to um, help guide it. I, I already have my shimmer leather. It looks like it's still set. Shimmer leather is already the setting there. So while that's cutting, I wanna show you just a little bit about the materials we're gonna to use to make the jewelry. Um, these are our pliers, and this is a jump ring tool if you've never done jewelry before. Uh, both of these are part of a kit that I'll link to in the blog post. That kit also comes with all the earring hooks and jump rings. Those are the round circles that kind of hold it all together. And then that kit also has quite a bit of faux leather, which I think you'll like as well. So if you're getting started and you need some of that kind of stuff, uh, make sure you check that out. But that's what we'll be using as we put together our um, earrings today. So one of the things you'll notice as it's cutting the material is it doesn't just cut it one time. Most of the time the cuts will go through twice and that's because when you have a thicker material like this, it just takes a couple more times to get through the material. But it looks like we have just a really great cut here. This is bigger than I was picturing. I knew how tall it was. I guess I wasn't picturing it being this wide. So I'm, I am a little bit caught off guard, although it is an ugly sweater um, set of earrings, so it probably should be a little bit ugly or a little bit overdone. So here we are so far. I've got one more layer to go, and that's my green layer. And 
So I'm, I'm just gonna leave my settings for the leather the same. And gosh, oh shoot. I don't wanna put that glitter side down and I just did. And that means that really got my mat. It really got my mat messy. Gosh darn it. Okay, so I'm gonna stick this in and send this. Okay, this is a bummer and I'm gonna show you because I made a mistake and I want you to see this mistake too. I just still, I cannot believe how big these circles are. Um, I ran this on a, when it drops your, your materials down, it dropped it to a 12 inch piece and obviously my stuff is not 12 inches. So not only did I get that one cut in half, it messed me up over there as well. So I've got to recut those two. Um, just make sure you're looking at your mat and you see how big it is and you know um, where, where it's showing your cuts are gonna be and make sure you've got leather there. Should give you a pretty good idea of how this is laying out. I was considering, you know, do I just go with two layers of it and um, because it is, it is bigger than I was thinking it was gonna be or do I want to keep the third layer just to be super gaudy? And I think that's the whole point. And so I'm going to keep all three of them. It's not to be like cute and comfortable. It's kind of to be crazy. So I'm keeping all three. It is going to be a big earring. And then what that means is the next step that I need to do is I need to glue my backs together. So I'm going to glue my two greens, each of these sets of greens together. And to do that, I'm just going to use this E6000 glue and I'll just spread that all around the earring, especially around the edges because I really want the edges to be just really nice and attached. I don't want to get it on the front where the glitter is. That's important. And then once I kind of get it around the edge, I do go ahead and I just start to spread it all over the earring. Press the two pieces together, just starting in the middle, and then work your way around the earring and just carefully wipe off any excess glue that seeps out. Okay, so it's time to go ahead and put our jewelry together. I've got a hook for each earring. I always use two jump rings. I'm adding a third jump ring today because I think I want this to hang down just a little bit lower. So let's get started. The first thing I wanna do is I wanna get each of my hooks onto a jump ring. I do that with every project. Before I even start putting anything on um, the jump ring, I get the hooks on there. So you just gotta find on the jump ring where the opening is, sometimes it's hard. Um, and you just open it by pushing it back, not opening it from side to side because uh, when you do that, it's hard to get your hook closed back up um, without changing the shape of the circle of the jump ring. And you don't want kind of a ugly shaped jump ring. So we did one, now we're gonna grab the other jump ring and find the opening. It's so funny on these small ones, it is a little harder to find the opening. Uh, but once you find it, you just open it up and get that hook right on in there and close it up. All right, that's step one. Okay, then step two, is going to be to get our, I'm trying to picture this thing. Um, I think we just need to go ahead and get another jump ring added onto this. So that'll also be easy. We'll just open it, put it on and close it. The easy part is doing it. The hard part's finding the top of the jump ring. Okay. And I did decide to use silver uh, jump rings and hooks because this is silver. Um, on this ugly sweater. If you don't like silver, like my daughter just really does not like silver, you could change out the jump ring that was actually on the ugly sweater and you could change that to a gold one and then you can make all your other pieces gold. But if you wanna do a gold hook, you probably should change the jump ring on the gold sweater so you don't have mixed colors of jump rings. All right, so we get this guy on here and get his out of jump ring and again, the reason I'm doing this is that I, I want my sweater to fall maybe not in the right in the center of the 
of the round circle, but I definitely just don't want it like all the way up here at the top like that. And so by adding another jump ring, it's just gonna let it hang just a little bit further where I want it to be. All right, so now we only have one more to go. Hopefully you can see how easy this is. Um, gotta get it. And when I hold these jump rings, I have my pliers really hold the whole side of the jump ring versus just like one little piece. And on the jump ring where you're actually putting all the stuff on, you kind of have to open it just a little bit more because you're putting a lot of stuff on. All right, so here is our green layer. Here is our crazy layer. Here is our red layer. And then we've got our ugly sweater. Goes on there. That let's see that it hits in a really nice place. And then the last part we need to do is our hook. You want to make sure your hook is facing to the back when you put it on. Otherwise, your hook will be backwards. And then once you have all those pieces on, then you just oops. You close it up. This is hard because this is really full, so I'm actually gonna move my pliers just a little bit. If it's ever really full and you can't get it closed, you might have to move to a bigger jump ring, which I have bigger silver jump rings. I just didn't think I would need them, and I don't think I need them now that I'm looking at it. Okay, so here is our ugly sweater earring, and I think it is super ugly and fun and cute all at the same time. I'm gonna put it into fast mode and do another one. You might notice when I put this together, I left the hook out, so I had to open the jump ring back up, add the hook in, and close it back up. You'll probably notice when you look closely at your earring that there might be some things that need to be trimmed. Some fuzzies, you know, might be sticking out. So just carefully take your scissors and work around your circles, just trimming off anything. I would just caution you to be careful that you're only cutting off the backing and you're not actually cutting into the circle on the front side. Thanks for watching the video today. I had a lot of fun making these ugly Christmas sweaters. I love to hear from you in the comments below if you've ever worn ugly sweater uh, Christmas earrings and any other ideas that you have for ugly sweater Christmas earrings. Thanks a lot, everybody. Have a great day.